Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Sorry I've been away for a few days. Uh, life has been happening. I probably still should have and probably could have put out some YouTube videos. So once again, as many times as it takes, I will apologize to you guys and say I am sorry for not announcing or saying anything in advance. I will simply try to make up for some of these videos along the way. Moving on to Psalm 95 at this point, and... I, I'm a few psalms ahead of Psalm 94, which was my last preaching video. And I'm actually going to take one video, starting at Psalm 95. From what I can tell and from what I have read, there's a lot of positive stuff coming up, whereas a lot of the psalms have just dealt with, like, the harshness of life and the just, you know, God help me, God save me, God forgive me, things are hard, times are trying, I need help, I need deliverance. And a lot of the psalms that I've been reading the last few days have been very, very positive, very, very uplifting. And I just want to put a different perspective on life itself and on reality itself. The truth is, God is good. The truth is, heaven is real. The truth is, the Lord can protect us from anything and everything that the enemy throws in the, at us. The truth is, God's in control of the entire earth. The truth is, nothing can harm you as long as you are close to God, serving Him, and are obedient to Him. The truth is, there is much more love, much more goodness, and much more light than there is fear, darkness, despair, sadness, grief, pain, death. All the positives outweigh the negatives by a large margin because God is good. And it is uh, my delight, my honor, and my privilege to share a lot of just good, positive stuff with you in the next few messages. I, I, part of me is a little bit relieved, and part of me is kind of like, you know, man, obviously, you know, real life does need to be dealt with. The dark things, the bad things need to be addressed. They need to be met head on, especially by Christians and by the church who say, we have the answer. We have the truth. We have the power to face this stuff. We should be tackling these issues head on and not, not you know, running away with our tail between our legs. But it is nice every now and then to just look at how glorious and how beautiful God is and all the good things and all the blessings he's given to us and to just take time to rejoice and to remember that God and his goodness are so much greater and so much vaster than all of the negative reality that is there. Just to give you a few, th a few things to chew on from Psalm 95 and what I believe will be the main focus of the messages for several days to come. Just looking at verse 3, For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. Verses 4 and 5, In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. So the highs and the lows, they all belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Everything that's been created was created by him, and he's in complete control. Complete control. I'm normally not the guy who says that, you know, everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be fine, because a lot of the times it is not okay. It is not fine. But for today, for this message, and for the next several messages, I would like to say, and I can very gladly, with like, almost like a burden lifted from my heart, I can tell you it really will be okay. Things will, it really will be all right, because God is in control. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. And things really will be okay, even if they don't look like it, even if they don't feel like it, even if everything looks like it's against you. God's got you. And it'll be okay. All you need to do is depend on Him, trust in Him, be, be current in your repentance of your sins, and be current and proactive in your relationship with Him. And everything really will be okay. It's my great joy to be able to say that and just focus on something positive, not just for this message, but from what I can tell, several messages ahead. So look forward to that. Look forward to some positivity and to some good things. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you very much, and God bless.